afraid of death, I took to the mountains. There, again and again, I meditated on the uncertainty of the hour of my death. Now, having captured the fortress of the deathless, unending nature of mind, all fear of death is over and done. Milarepa in Buddhist, um, in Tibetan mythology, is the first ordinary Tibetan to attain Buddhahood in a single lifetime in the history of Buddhism in Tibet. The unique thing about Milarepa, I think, is um, usually most of the Tibetan biographies, the lamas, you know, what they did and all of that, always starts very, um, I don't know, perfect if I say so, like, uh, you know, like, they have always been great, right from the beginning. And somehow, for the modern people, I think it's quite difficult to identify themselves with this figure. Um, especially nowadays, we have this problem of condemning oneself, you know, lack of confidence, um, what do you call it? Uh, low self-esteem, all of that. The very first Dharma book I ever read was The Life of Milarepa, and it had been uh, recommended to me. And uh, my first impression was that as I read the story, I identified with him tremendously. Until that time, anything I had ever read about a spiritual teacher had always been so much from the point of view of a fully awake, a fully enlightened person. I had never read the story of a Dharma teacher that presented him as a human being. Um, and so it made a great impression on me because I sort of identified with him every uh, inch of the way in his life. I think ordinary Tibetan, <clears throat> most probably, <clears throat> uh, felt that, that they could become a practitioner and they could have realizations. But maybe people who have done deeds that were not wholesome, uh, that were quite negative, you know, for them to have this kind of an, a hope, most probably uh, came from uh, Milarepa. So here is this guy who has done quite a severe uh, things, you know, like killing over 30 people within one ago, that's, that's a big deal. Like magic. Killing actually relatives and actually going, went through lots of problems, worldly problems, family problems. And there was love involved and um, revenge. So he was, an, he, he was a very ordinary, so to speak. And out of this ordinary person, we now have extraordinary person cut. <laughs> 